for uh, please the Father that all fullness should dwell in him. Colossians 1 tells us. This painting is about that. It is called Indwelling Fullness. Um, the, the twirl at the top suggests the spirit uh, and all the pieces, all the colored pieces are all the different things that are part of him. The colorful thing. Well, I wanted to, to express how colorful he is, how, how uh, complete he is. Now, when the Father says that all the fullness will dwell in him, I read it like that, that in him should dwell the godliness. He is God. If there is one statement in the Bible that is, that is more clear about Jesus being God, it is this one. Because the fullness is God. And because of his, his, his um, dying on the cross and the work that he did, he, he closed all the things that hindered that and he opened all the doors that welcomed his fullness and one of the doors that hindered it was the state of mankind and the state of creation after that he opened the door to a new era a new time of coming to him and a promise for a new creation a new earth and a new heaven now, his fullness, we know that from more part, uh, uh, parts in the Bible, where it says that him is given authority over all principalities, and, and uh, we know that there are more scripture parts indicating towards that, but the fullness in the person is, I think, this. This is a splash uh, of what he is, a splash of, of what the Father allows him to be, and that is God. 